Okay, so this new thing I was gonna talk about, which I don't really talk about much here, which is the weight loss. The whole idea that I'm sharing here is based on building the beast mindset. Change the way you think, change your perspective, change your vibrations so you could change your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. As a result of that, great things are gonna begin to happen. You're gonna lose weight, you're gonna build muscle, you're gonna make good choices, your things are gonna start going the way, things are gonna start going in your favor or more. If you're the type of person that was like me that would always ask like, why does this always happen to me? Or why do the things tend to not work out either the way they should, the way I think they should, even though I follow all the directions, even though I follow everything they tell me to do, it doesn't go 100% like they tell me or even close to 100%. It goes up to like maybe 60, 70%, at best 75%. And that's with like way more effort than how I was explained or told to do, instructed to do. Once I switched the mindset, once I started working on my vibe, which then changed my thoughts to high thoughts, high feelings, then high actions, everything that I try and I do seems to get to 95, 100%. It works out. And even the things that I'm not trying to do end up being in my favor. The weight loss, building a little bit of muscle. That wasn't even part of the plan. It goes back to the start of this video, which was how simple it was to lose weight by thinking the idea, again, back to the mindset, of removing things. Remove things that are not high vibing. Remove things that are not part of your purpose. Specifically talking about the food part, the eating part, is start with, simpli start with something simple. Keep it very, very simple. When I started, like way, way back, this was, man, maybe years ago. It's like, I'm going to stop drinking soda. I still drink bubbly soda, the carbonated Tehuacan style with no sugar, no sweetness. It's just carbonated water. I still drink that because it, it has nothing. But like, just like dark sodas or, or flavored sodas. I don't drink, not even Diet Coke, not even nothing. Occasionally back then, you know, 15 years ago, whatever, I would have an occasional Diet Coke. But then afterwards, I was like, that's it, no Coke. That changed everything the way my skin looked the way i felt my first little chunk of weight that was lost my diet was still off point but nevertheless it was a starting point then it was like i'm gonna eat less tortilla now i'm gonna have a structure two or four or three or whatever removal then it was something else hey, you know what i'm gonna I'm going to stop putting jelly on my peanut butter and jelly. It's removal. That changed something. I'm going to stop having this much food. I'm having seconds and thirds. I'm going to start using these small bowls. That's it. So I wasn't that I'm going to start using these bowls. No, it was all about removal. It was like, I'm going to stop eating unlimited. Then that automatically kind of like, kicked in the why am I going to buffets I used to always go to buffets that came because I removed something so if you're on an idea of like how do I lose weight how do I lose some weight I don't use the scale regularly I mean I use the scale scales ain't bad I ain't hating on scales but I don't use the scale for say like to, like oh how much did I lose this week or how much did I lose this week or how much? because I am not basing myself Currently, at the time, the program that I'm creating, that I'm building, is based on building the beast mindset and everything else falls into place. As of right now, I don't use the scale. Again, not hating on scales because when I go to the doctor for my yearly checkup, I use a scale there. I have a scale here at home and I was curious more than anything. I, I, there's no doubt I'm dropping weight and my clothes feels way different. This hat didn't fit. This hat did not fit. My 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 head was fat i put it on the other day because i was washing my other hat which i just washed and i was like oh snap it fits i didn't know my head gained weight when i was fat so staying on topic i used the scale and i noticed oh shoot i used to be in the ballpark of 178 
181. That's where it kind of ranged any time that I would, by chance, hop on a scale. When I take my dogs to the vet, I'd always jump on the scale afterwards. When I'd go to the doctor, I'd check. So I was in the ballpark between high, 70, high 170s, low 180s. I checked myself just the other day, and I was at 150. I think in high school, I weighed 145 or 135. I can't remember. So I'm at 150 right now. So I was like, wow, that's close to 30 pounds in five months and change, almost six months. I got on the third of next month or on the 20th of October, on the third of November, it'll be six months since I changed the way I consume food. Since I removed the amount of food that I ate and the type of food that I ate. Again, removal. And that dropped me 30 pounds. So then why did you remove food? You removed food or you changed your food to lose weight, right? No, it was to change my mindset. It was to raise my vibration and create the most powerful muscle that I wanted so bad, which was discipline. If you can have discipline, you create confidence. Confidence is just a fancy word of saying self-love. You believe in yourself. You trust yourself. You trust yourself to do the things that you say that you're going to do. So when you when you meet someone and you start trusting them, you build a friendship. Then you like them. Then you love them. I didn't know I didn't like or love or even know myself. So by starting to watch the amount of food that I ate and the type of food that I ate, I started creating discipline. No, I'm not going to eat more. No, I'm not going to eat that. No, I'm not going to eat that. And the more I would feel it, the better, the more I would feel the urge to want to eat those things, the more I could say no, the more discipline I would create, which would mean the more confidence I would build, the more self-love, in other words, that I would build. So not that I wanted to talk so much about losing weight, but I just want to let you know that if, if you wanted to build discipline, change the way you eat. By the way, bonus, you'll lose weight. If you wanted to lose weight and you're maybe structured the way I am, this was 30 pounds in almost six months, not even six months. I just exercise here at home, out on the parking lot. I don't have a gym pass yet. I will. I want to. We have weights here, but I rarely use them. I say rarely because... Two days ago, I started using weights, but before that, I didn't. And this happened. So the idea is like, okay, if you stumbled upon this video because you wanted to lose some pounds, by the way, you could also structure your mindset so you everything just starts working better. I would suggest and ask you to think about doing that instead, because not only will you lose the weight, but everything else, everything else will start going in your favor. You'll be happier. You'll be pleasant. You'll like be so like ha it, it, it just feeling good because everything starts going your way. Now, if you came here because you were figuring out how to make how to start making things go your way. I'll tell you, start with diet, start with discipline, start with exercising so you can build discipline. And by the way, you're probably going to lose some unwanted weight and gain a little bit of muscle. Any questions, leave them in the comments.